Hey there Delilah, what's it like in New York City? You're a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. Times Square can't shine as bright as you, I swear it's true. Oh, it's what you do to me, oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. It's what you do to me It's what you do to me Hey there Delilah by the Plain White Tees This song is in the key of D And the finger style pattern we're using throughout this entire song is the thumb plucking the root note of each chord which could happen on any of the thicker three strings and uh, in, in the D that would be the fourth string, the D string and then fingers one and two are plucking together on strings two and three. So we're going thumb, pluck, thumb, pluck. It's at quite a pace, but that's all that's happening. So begin slowly. If you can practice that just for a second now. One and two and three and four is the count but it is at quite a pace. Highly advised just practicing these first two chords alternately. Uh, so the second chord, we're going to flatten off our first finger to bar just string two and three. And then the third finger plays the fourth fret. And this is very much on an angle like this rather than like this, so that this stretch is a little bit more comfortable. I wouldn't advise that across the board, but in this situation it does really help. So that would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we could play the D like this because we're not playing string uh, one, we're just playing this. So we could, it's entirely up to you, that may be easier just for the change is the reason I suggest it. And that is what I'd recommend uh, practicing quite a few times to make sure you get a feel for this because the next chords, we've got quite a lot of bar chords in this song. Um, the next chord would be a B minor, which would be, but girl tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. Then we have a G bar chord. Times Square can't shine as bright as you. This is an A major chord, but rather than playing three in a line or any other eight, I would recommend the, the bar. This is what I've seen him play in, um, in a, a video, a live video of his. But also it's just much easier to change between the other bar chords to a flat first finger rather than go for three in a line because the first finger's already flat, we're already barring. So, um, tonight you look so pretty, yes you do, B minor. G bar chord, same shape with fingers two, three, and four, but move them up one string and slide to the third fret. That's our G bar chord. Like the F bar chord, but moved up to third fret. Flat first finger, Times square can't shine as bright, B minor as you back to the A I swear it's true if you need more help with bar chords check out my Improver guitar course where I talk you through all the techniques that are used in this song and, and many others at this kind of level and the link for that is just here and in the description but we're going to move on to check out the finger style pattern for um, this section the end of the verse so B minor the root note is on string 5 Previously, it was on string four. Then we need to move just the thumb to string five, but first two fingers stay the same. Briefly let go of that first finger so we can hit the open A. One, two, three, four. Okay, that gives us a little bit of time to change to the G, which would be for two beats. One, two, and it's only string uh, six and then two and three that we're actually hitting 
that just as good practice and again just to show you what he's doing in, in live videos and I believe on the record he's playing the G bar chord and then it's briefly to the A B minor and then back to the A one more time, but tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. That's the B minor, G. Times Square can't shine as bright as you. I swear it's true. Now when I played this in the video, what, what happens I think is he uses a little finger. Just to get that higher note. But to save you guys a stretch, and also I feel it sounds really nice, we can move up just to um, fret 5 and 6 with the first two fingers, and then we're back to the normal. Okay, so that was... a little slide from the A to a higher inversion of the A born out of a E bar chord at 5th fret. Sounds really cool. Verse in its entirety, nice and slow. Nice and slow. Let's do this from the top. Two, three, four. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. Times Square can't shine as bright as you, I swear it's true. Hey there, Delilah. Don't you worry about the distance I'm right there if you get lonely Give the song another listen Close your eyes Listen to my voice, it's my disguise I'm by your side Then we're on to the chorus section which the chords are the D major and to the B minor because of the notes that we're playing, we can play the D however you like because we're not playing the thinnest string, but that B minor, again, is a bar chord. Um, so the D for a bar, then straight to the B minor bar. On the fourth beat, third finger up by one string to get that, uh, that passing note back up to the D. Let me demo first. It's what you do to me. What you do to me Then the bridge section is very similar to at uh, the end of the verse So G bar chord Thousand miles seems pretty far But they've got planes and trains and cars I'd walk to you if I had no other way Friends would all make fun of us A major, D and B minor again. The same, but staying on B minor this time. The world will never ever be the same, and you're to blame. With the finger picking, the same fashion as the verse. Two, three, four. A thousand miles seems very far, but then you've got planes and trains and cars. I'd walk to you if I had no other way. Our friends would all make fun of us And we'll just laugh along Because we know none of them have felt this way Delilah, I can promise you That by the time that we get through The world will never ever be the same And you're to blame 
then back to the chorus and that is all sections of the song now if you need more help with the finger picking and finger style there's a video on the screen now and a link in the description everywhere to my uh, finger style course and a few free lessons from that as a taster of what to expect getting all the right hand principles correct and getting your fingers working even if you're a total beginner but that's hey there delilah thank you so much for watching i've been andy crowley